In this video, we'll create a new profile for a fictitious staff member on the training site. Creating a people profile begins just like creating any new page on an AEM site. First, you must be in the Sites view of your site, with the proper parent page highlighted. There are two ways to access this page view. One way is, if you are already on the people page in the authoring environment, Go to the Page Properties icon and select View in Admin. The other way is, open another tab and simply enter author.lsa.umich.edu to access your dashboard and navigate to the Sites view from there. A People Profile page should be a child page of the appropriate People section. For example, a new professor will be a child of faculty, while a new admin partner would be staff, etc. We're going to use staff for this exercise. Once you've highlighted the appropriate parent page, select the blue Create button in the upper right corner. In the drop down menu that appears, select Page. Choose the Profile Page template and click Next. The next step is to add the profile's basic information the individual's name and unique name. In the required field title, please add the person's full name as you wish it to appear in their profile. Usually this means their first name or given name, followed by their last name or surname. In the name field, please add the person's unique name. This is very important if you want the profiles in your people section to be properly organized. Click Create and then open. Great, you've created a people profile. Now add the new person's details. Go to the page properties icon and select open properties. Advance to the profile details tab. Fill in unique name, first and last names again. If the individual has given you bio info, you'll add that info to the profile bio section. This field is a text editor so it works the same way as the other text editors in AEM. Fill in any other fields as needed, for instance, job title, office hours, education, etc. Click Save and Close in the upper right corner where you've added all the profile info. Next, we'll add an image for the new staff member. Remember, the image must first be in your DAM. Drag and drop the image from the Content Finder window on the left straight onto the image field in the profile page. As a reminder, image dimensions for people profiles should be a ratio of 2 to 3, which is the same as 600 by 900 pixels. Images which are not 2 to 3 will be automatically cropped by AEM. Adjust the crop size and position by clicking the image once and selecting the pencil. Next, for best results, we recommend switching to full screen. Once in full screen, select the Crop tool and then select Portrait. Use the grid lines and corners to adjust the crop to the preferred position. To save, first click the check mark in the upper right corner, then exit full screen, and finally click the check mark in the Image Edit toolbar. If the individual has given you a PDF of their CV, please add it to the DAM. Then drag and drop the CV from the Content Finder window on the left straight onto the field labeled Drop Document from Content Finder, Curriculum Vitae. Remember to activate your changes when you're done. Technology Services is here to support you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email our help desk at lsatechnologyservices at umich.edu.